What's going on guys? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Really exciting day today. My Orion Optics CT8 has finally arrived. And now we are gonna do the unboxing of this telescope. I just pulled it in and it's a little beat up. So hopefully everything's intact, but let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we got. Let's open this thing up. Nope. Maybe this one took a little bit of a ding. Hopefully the contents are okay. Trying to be careful here cutting this. Oh wow. Oh, this thing is huge. Holy cow. Oh, that's just a stabilizer. Oh, hopefully that's got the rings, I'm guessing. That. Let's take a look at those. All right. Oh, what we got here? What is this? This fragile. Maybe this is the focuser. Okay. What is it? Okay, that's the finder. We'll have to take a look at that in a minute. And the finder bracket, bay and base. And it's Got some cable, probably for the cooling fans. All right, I think that's it in that one. Just make sure. All right, now let's take out the big boy. Okay, let's get this out of here. Look at this, guys. And as far as packaging, I mean, it looks like they did a pretty good job, but I don't know. I felt like they could have used some sturdier material than what they did. I mean, let's check it out. I think this is the bottom end, actually. Let's go this end up, since the mirror cell seems to be down there. There we go. Where is that knife? All right. They got this taped up crazy. Okay. You really take the stew out of this. Which is a good thing. Just don't want to scratch the scope. There we go. Oh wow. Oh man, look at that. There it is. Check that out. 
CTA, Orion Optics UK. Oh man. All right, now that I've got this thing unboxed and put on the mount, let's, uh, let's get a closer look at this awesome telescope. So here we have the Orion Optics CT8. In case you're not familiar with Orion Optics, they are a telescope manufacturing company based out of the UK, and they are no, well known for making high-end reflector style type telescopes. Anything from Dahl Kirkham's, which they have the ODK, it's an optimized Dahl Kirkham, to their Ultra Newtonians, like the CT8 here, and they also have a VX series which is a more entry level series. But what drew me to Orion Optics was the reputation for having high quality optics in their telescopes. I wanted to make a transition into something that had just a better overall build and better optics. This particular model is the eight inch CT8 Ultra Newtonian. It has a focal length of 900 millimeters, an aperture of 4.5 and is an imaging beast. I have no doubt I'm going to get some excellent data using this telescope. A couple other features about this telescope that I really liked is the fact that they used a carbon fiber tube for the body. This does a couple things. Besides making it for a lighter load on your mount, it actually helps keep it more thermally stable. And we all know that's important when it comes to maintaining focus. Unlike most aluminum tube type uh, builds, the carbon fiber is more thermally stable, which just means as temperature drops throughout the night when you're imaging to within a few or sometimes several degrees of a change, you will not have to make any adjustments to your focuser. And that's because the carbon fiber does not contract and expand as quickly and as easily as aluminum does. So that's a nice feature to have. The stock focuser is a two inch Crayford focuser and it does have a locking pin, no frills, Nothing too extravagant, but I think it'll do the job. I could see possibly upgrading this in the future to something like a moonlight, maybe even a feather touch. At the rear of the telescope, you'll see the collimation screws and locking screws, as well as three cooling fans, which is a very nice feature for helping the telescope to reach thermal equilibrium uh, cool down. And it is powered by a 12 volt fan adapter, which is sold separately. The scope also comes standard with these nice mounting rings, which have mounting holes for an additional saddle or dovetail on the top for additional equipment. Overall, I'd say I got a really killer imaging rig here. And the price per aperture is tough to beat. Even this model coming at right around $2,300 from OPT telescopes, when you compare the actual specs of the focal length and aperture and the optical quality, a refractor would probably cost two, three, four times as much. So still a fantastic value for what you're getting. And that's really about all the main features of this telescope I was gonna go over today for the unboxing. Hopefully I'll be able to do a first light video here in the near future, but you know how this goes. Anytime you get new equipment, usually the weather doesn't work out and the forecast for the next couple weeks doesn't look too favorable. So it's gonna be a while, but it will be in the works and we will be doing a first light video with this scope and a new imaging system I got set up coming as well. As always, thanks for watching. If this was your first time, thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, you thought it was informative, got something out of it, feel free to hit the like, subscribe. And if you're interested in any gear, and this is kind of a new thing for you, I always put links in my description to help people get started on the right foot. So be sure to check that out as well. God bless. Always keep looking up. Always keep seeking. And until next time, clear skies. Thank you.